Hey everyone, Makasan here, and I'm back with my Ruby shirt here, which means it's time for another episode, another volume, chapter, whatever, of Ruby. This one is called Two Steps Forward and Two Steps Back. That's, a, that's pretty much the story of, well, civilization as a whole, isn't it? Anyhow, in this one we got a thumbnail of Yang training with her father. So yes, we're finally back to seeing Yang training. Okay, let's, let's get on with this. Uh, okay, stop going that. This one is over 15 minutes long. Da na na da na da da na 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 da 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 I gotta practice this song a lot. This time story. You know, whenever I do a singing of like theme songs and things like that, I'm standing up. <laughs> I've done that for a lot of Power Rangers. Actually, for all Power Rangers, actually. Every time, every time the theme song starts, I sing it on my lungs. Full blast. <laughs> oh, God. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Things we can do. Let's just live day by day. Let's be we by our sorrow. The things come apart, but time will mend our hearts. Yes, it has to be. Let's just live. Yeah. Okay! Sorry! Alright, that was different. It was a lot different, actually. Whoa! Damn! Nice moves! Well, that thing packs a punch! We've been at this for weeks. I get it. You want to make sure I can still fight? I think I'm doing just fine. You're close. Oh, really? You're still off balance. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of surprised. I thought it would just be this huge weight, but it feels natural. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They did a great job with this thing. Sorry about that. Whoa! Oh! I forgot, boy. Hold on, freaking. I wasn't talking about your actual balance. <laughs> Play mode. There we go. Back, back to the, back to the thing. I feel it happens. That could use Aww. <laughs> what a good dog. Meaning? I saw your tournament fights. During the Vital Festival? Let me guess. I was sloppy. No, no. You were predictable. Oh! And stubborn. And maybe a little boneheaded. <laughs> Yeah, that's you in a nutshell. Do you realize that you used your semblance to win every fight after the qualifiers? So what? How is me using my semblance any different than someone else using theirs? Because not everyone else's is basically a temper tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Once you take damage, you can dish it back twice as hard, but that doesn't make you invincible. It's great when you're in a bind, but what happens if you miss? What happens if they're stronger? What then? What happens if you run out? Tired. Yeah. You've always been one to burn bright everyone else. Whether it was with your smile or, well, I remember your first haircut. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, oh I want to see that. I want to see that. But you gotta first haircut. Keep your emotions in check. You burn burning brighter it's means you burn easy. fuel as well faster. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely have your mom's stubbornness. Oh, so now we can talk about her? Oh Well, as I have been informed, you're an adult now, remember? 
<laughs> nice comeback. Well, sorry I remind you of her. Don't be. Yeah, I want to know. She's great in so many ways. Her strength, her ambition, her dedication to whatever cause she thought was worth fighting for. I'm proud of how much of her I've seen. Yeah, a lot of her, actually. I'm glad I didn't see all of her. Oh, yeah. Why? Look what happened. Oh, boy. Your mother was... a complicated... <laughs> like everybody, she had her faults. But those faults are what tore our team apart. And they did a real number on our family. We both act like the easiest way to tackle an obstacle is through it. That strength is all that matters in the fight. But if you just take a second look, then maybe you see there's a way around as well. No, oh, yeah, nice one using why. Come on. One more before. Okay, okay, uh, do the camera back a bit. I don't want that up close shot this time, okay? <laughs> See? Alright. Now you're using your head instead of your up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, alright, that's what he was talking about. Okay, yes. Weiss. Okay, I'm that bad at the fight about thing. Please, please with your teeth. Stay behind a bit. We want to see them move up close. Oh, she's summoning the solar sister. God damn, Whitley! Lock the door. Leave. How hurtful! And here I am, about to offer you a favor. Father's taking me into town to introduce me to some of his business partners. I thought I'd see if you wanted me to pick you up anything, since you're, well, stuck here. Are you jealous? Is that it? Whatever do you mean? Is that why you hate me? Are you jealous of my abilities? Of Winters? Hmm. No, not really. Honestly, I find it barbaric. What? It's beneath people like me, like Father. What could a single huntsman possibly do that an army could not? That's why we have one. Even if it is run by a fool. Asshole. I said, leave. Fine. I wonder. I've got better things to do. I'm very curious. Enjoy your training. It's quite However pointless it is. It's quite clear than do any training. What is your plan anyway? What do you hope to accomplish can, while trapped in your own bedroom? Can we do <laughs> Can he summon glyphs? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's already even been unlocked. Could he be like the black sheep of the family in which he can't summon a glyph? That'd be something. Come on, wife. You got a nice picture of that knife right there. Envision it. Did you do it? You did it? You did it? Oh, she did it! Let's see. Nice! <coughs> nice! Very nice! Klein, I need a favor. Although you might want to work on the refined summoning part. You know, you don't want that abstract to happen all the time. <laughs> okay! Gotcha! Wait up! Don't let her out of your sight! 50 bucks. Like 50 Leanne said someone she knows. What the? A 
chameleon on us? Why are you watching me? Nice weapon though. A pistol whip. Not above hitting a girl, you know. <laughs> Scroll. Seems someone thinks it's important. Get <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, they're a bank. Damn. Okay, so yeah, so Sun does have to be staring and grab it. So Sun has to hold still. What about okay, sorry, still. Yeah. Ilya. Wait, you know her? But she doesn't even look like a fool. Ah! Son! Give it to me. Yeah. You shouldn't have come back. It seems. It looks like her skin changes with her emotions. But she does have control over some some of them. No, 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 not again, please. Help! Somebody! Hold on, son. Just hold on. You shouldn't have come back. Who the hell are you to say that? You needed to come back. But yeah, I... Chameleon Faunus has to be... He's taking a trip down memory lane. How much farther? We've got to be close. Without the map, there's no way of knowing. But I feel like we're close to something. Yeah. What is it? He got Bonas back there. Mistral that way. Kuro Yuri? Does it say how close? No. And it looks like the path takes us up through the mountains. Guys, I don't know if all of us can make that climb. Okay, well, what about this place? <laughs> Kuro, Kuro Yuri! It's the crossed off for there? a reason. That village was destroyed years ago. Yeah. But if it takes us around the mountains, it's the best bet we've got. It will take too long. The town would have had a doctor, right? Well, maybe we could scavenge for medicine. Right. We're not going to find anything. We just have to press on. Wow. Wow, I think it's the first time I've ever seen Ren so mad. Acting? We can split up. Huh? Ren and I can cut through the mountains while you and Ruby take Crow around through the village. <clears throat> No, we're supposed to stick together. We keep each other safe. We don't have time for safe. Yeah, that's true. If we make true. it to Mistral, we'll bring back help. If we don't, we'll at least have a better view of the land. Up there, we can see if there's somewhere else we can go. Damn. Nora actually being the, the smart, logical one. Let me guess. That's your home village. Okay. Aww. I am the I, I can just hear the shippers now. We always have. I can hear the shippers. Like just going crazy right now from, from that scene. But yeah, it's already obvious. Kuro Yuri. That's your home village, isn't it? Both of yours.
Oh, that's, that's beautiful, actually. I like this one. I like that concept the, the best. Seriously, a pistol whip. Oh, obvious. I mean, goddamn. Yeah, like <laughs> smaller bust. <laughs> the chameleon fawn. I was the chameleon fawn, but it's quite clear that her um her fawn's trait is not so apparent. Literally under the skin. Was his, was, his, was his collar always like that? With that bone? Uh, da, da, da. Gave us a bit of backstory this episode here. At least we know that it was Raven. Who split their team apart? Clearly, she had other things in her mind, like taking over her people. Something that Crow did not agree on, and I wonder how Ty and Summer reacted when they learned about what she planned on doing. I mean, damn. <laughs> but yeah, I like I like how <laughs> Ty described her battle at the vital vital tournament, like stubborn. Headstrong and stuff like that. And of course, the lesson that don't always rely on your semblance for everything. Because, uh, well, th that is true. I mean, go back to the fight with uh, Neo. I think she was relying too much on her semblance to take the hit, even though she was exhausted from fighting Grimm all day. She hasn't recovered. Ugh. So yeah, there's that, and of course, but it was nice. Of course, again in that battle scene, Rooster Teeth, not that much. Don't don't stick to close up so much. Like, I far far off shots where they're both in frame where I can actually see them moving, see what every part of their body, how they contort, how they defend, their, their footing, the, how they spin, that kind of stuff. I don't at a good angle. That's what makes good fight scenes. Like when we. See the move. Now when we're so close, we can't really. That, that, that's that's the thing that Michael Bay got wrong in the Transformers movie. For crying out loud! Everything just way too close. We can't see what the fuck's going on. No, I want to take in the battle in all its detail, and I can't do that if I'm literally face first here. Uh, like, what the? No, I can't do that. <sighs> all right then. And now we have Weiss. Again, I have to ask. Does Whitley, is his aura unlocked? Can he do glyphs? Winter established that the Schnee family glyphs are hereditary. The, the semblance is hereditary. Can Whitley be like the black sheep of the family? The one who doesn't have glyph semblance? So, I'm surprised. She summoned that knight. Not as big, not as, big as it was in the white trailer, but still impressive. And a lot more bite, a lot more manageable inside because I seriously doubt if it was at, at its full size, it could fit in her room. Then again, I haven't really gotten to see how tall her ceiling is. And of course, you know, wise, you might want to learn on better summoning control because if, if all your summons gonna release that massive shock wave, <laughs> uh, you, you're gonna have to be paying for a lot of collateral damage. Oh. <laughs> uh, of course, and of course, we got the Kunoichi girl, the Kunoichi, who apparently an old friend of Blake that they uh, left on bad footing. What, is, what was it? What was her name again? Isao or something? Is, I know it's I, I S, but oh, God damn it. God damn it. I'll look it up again. And yeah, I'm assuming she's a chameleon faunus. I didn't see any other faunus traits. I mean, I thought the horns I saw on the mask were part of her, but no, they're part of the mask itself. So, but even like even like a son said, she does, she does not look like a faunus, which means. But then again, that um, bookstore guy didn't look like a faunus until after he took out the claws. And her trait clearly, I'm thinking under, under the skin. Really, I'm. I remember reading about how chameleons, they change colors based on emotion, emotions, how they feel. This is going, I'm, I'm working off 
from memory from long ago, people, after watching Animal Planet. And, yeah, she was just changing color. I mean, when she got mad, she changed red. And when she got, like, um, like, almost, looked like, the, I'm going to say depressed or melancholy, she got all, like, green, and even her hair changed color, which is, which I think was pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to assume Chameleon Fawn is, and I love her weapon. It's, like, a play, it's a play on words. It's a play on the whole pistol whip. Well, only instead of holding the gun with a barrel and and smacking someone, smacking someone with a bot with a butt with a butt of the weapon, it's like literally a whip that's like a pistol. <laughs> that's genius. Points on you for you. Points for you, Rooster Team on that one. That, that's smart. That's clever. <laughs> but of course, we got we got Sun. Oh my God, Sun. I mean, he, he he'll be fine. He'll be fine unless that thing was coated in poison. But seriously, so what's her history? And she she shouldn't have come back. Who the hell are you to say that? I mean, her family lived there. She wanted to see her family for so long after everything that happened. So uh, take it back. So anyhow, uh, after the name of this title, hmm, <clears throat> in a way, two steps forward. Can mean oh oh quite all of them. I forgot. I mean, yeah, this this is this is one episode where we got time with all the characters here, and now we got Ren and Nora. I think we learned even more about them without actually them expositing or anything like that. They immediately saw the sign Kuroyuri. Kuroyuri is like, oh, cried. It was crossed out. It's like, okay, um, your home village. I assume, I mean, uh, maybe it's just Ren's home village, or maybe it's both his and Nora's. But damn. Damn, I've never seen Ren, like, raise his voice like that, sh display actual anger. And Nora being, like, the, the, ra the calm, rational mind, it's like... Uh, did, did, did I go to Topsy Turvy Land? Cause, I... <laughs> but yeah, okay. Oh, and I love our uh, Crow. Uh, I mentioned how his condition, when he was talking about Ty and everything, he was clearly taking a trip down memory lane. Uh, reminded me of my grandma back when she was under medication. She's alright. She is alright, people. I I was in Miami. I spoke to her. She, she's perfect. She's fine. She's gonna be... She's fine. But, yeah, it makes me wonder. What other things will he say while under the effect of the venom? Like, um... Will he bring up Summer? Mentioning Summer Rose. I would very much like to hear. Even if it's just, like, broken... Broken, shattered stuff. Any mention of Summer Rose, because we really haven't gotten any mention of Summer of Ruby's mom since this Yang had that talk with Blake back in what what at Volume One, Volume Two, Slayer of Monsters and Baker of Cookies. I want cookies now, but yeah. And I gotta wonder though. Well, of course there was that scene, of course where. Uh, <laughs> John and Ren hugged each other as if there wasn't in, as if there wasn't enough. Freaking John Sh John Ren shippers. I mean, what's the name called? What's the name called? I mean, for the for those kind of shipping, I I don't know. I forgot. I forgot. I, I know. So, I know. Like uh, Black Sun. I know. I know. Like White Rose stuff like that. Bumblebee. Bumblebee, of course, Bumblebee. Don't know about Bumblebee. Bumblebee. I, I don't know. I don't know what you want. I don't know what the name of John and Red Shippers, but yeah, that's gonna add just fuel to the fire. Anyhow, so now, now Ruby and John are taking Crow to what remains of Kurayuri, and we saw another one that symbol, which means what? Raven and her group are taking 
Oh boy. I'm gonna be worried. I'm gonna be very worried. I do wonder though if they're gonna find any per any old personal effects of Ren and Nora when they scour that village for anything at all that can help that can help Crow. And now onto the title name. Two steps forward obviously means both Yang and Weiss. We clearly saw them progress a bit here. Like they, they get back getting back their mojo, at least for Yang, and for Weiss getting more. Getting more powerful now. Two steps back here clearly refers to Blake and how she's feeling with what happened to uh, Son. It's like like she's like, not again, not again. It's like regressing there, kid, regressing. That's obvious. As for the other one, hmm. I the last one. I don't. I don't know who they're referring referring to. I mean, I don't think it's talking about Ruby taking a step back or anything like that. It could just be the other characters, though. But maybe Ren. I don't know. I I honestly don't know. Still. This was a great episode here. I'm glad they were able to fit all four of Team Ruby members and like make them so they each have equal screen time. We show them develop, we show them what's going on. Now, we, 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 it did a lot. It did a lot. It's like, how many minutes did they get? Like, uh, I don't know how many minutes, but they managed, but it felt the appropriate length for each character. And of course, we got Zwei. Again, does Zwei look fat to you all? I mean, he looks like he gained a little a bit of pounds. And I kind of like the older, like the older design. I mean, this design ain't bad or anything like that, but <laughs> oh well. People, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you tell me what you thought, and what you thought about Zwei's new redesign. <laughs> Smart dog, still. And as always, join me again for the next chapter here. Chapter 10, or, you know, I'm um, probably going to be another World of Remnant. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I really hope it's not another World of Remnant. Maybe after chapter 10. Well, till then, this is Mekasan, logging out.